Now, it goes back to a very clear question. If Liddell is such a dog of an asset, if it is so horrible, if it is something that just warrants being pulled down, pulled down, um, if you want to take on the cost of pulling it down, then surely that would pose the question, if someone else, why wouldn't you take it to the market and see if someone wants to buy it? If it's such a terrible asset, surely if someone wants to buy it, that would be a better outcome. That would be a much better outcome. But it doesn't seem at this point in time that AGL and Andrew Vesey have any contemplation about anybody wanting to buy Liddell. They seem to be very focused on wanting to pull it down. And then they say, oh, well, we'll put up other renewables in that space. Well, I've got no problems with renewables. Australia's a big place. There's a lot of renewables in New England. If you want to put them up, sure, go knock yourself out. But the idea of pulling down one of the major suppliers of power to New South Wales um, for no real power, I have not had a cogent reason as to why they need to pull down a power station, uh, just doesn't stack up. Now, uh, we have to make sure that we keep the lights on in Sydney. 